Oh boy, folks. Here we are again. We're at the end of the world. Or maybe the end of the entire human race. Hello once again, YouTube, and welcome back to The Domain. This is part three of my flood-infected customs from Bam Bam Productions. The first two, you're very familiar with Billy the Grunt, this disgusting iteration of my poor little grunty boy. He's got bulges and tentacles coming out of everywhere. He is so disgusting, but also expertly crafted. And then he was joined by flood-infected Emil. Wow. I, that never gets old, honestly. That is still as cool as when I first unboxed it. And stick till the end of the video to find out how you can win this figure. I'm going to send it to one of you free of charge very soon because it is flood month on the domain. Specifically on the Mega Constructs domain, our Facebook group, but we're celebrating it here too. So there's the flood infected Emil with a hollowed out helmet and this grunt. And this seems even more appropriate now because Mega Constructs just unveiled that we can vote on the figure we want included in Halo Heroes Series 16. One of them is a flood combat form, and the other one is a haunted helmet from Halo Reach. And this guy, I mean, it's basically the same idea that Mega Constructs wants to do, so let's see who does it better, eh? But yeah, this is, wow, so awesome. Both of them are but they're about to be joined by something. I I'm really sad about this one. He's the hero of humanity. The Master Chief has been infected by the Flood. I mean, who is gonna save us now? Let's have a look inside. Whoa, I can see something grotesque hiding. Oh, gotta get it out of its packaging. Here it is, folks. I hate to unveil this because this is the end of the human race now. It's the Flood Infected Master Chief. 117. Oh, look at this. <laughs> This is the first time I've seen it too, folks. This was made by Bam Bam Productions, sent over to me to review, and he has just been doing such amazing work for this channel. He is a brother of mine, and man, this is no brother of mine. The flood-infected Master Chief. This poor skull. I imagine it's the exact same skull as this one, probably. I think this one looks way better because you can see its teeth. Actually, they look like different designs, maybe. This one definitely has red eyes and teeth. Damn, look at this poor chief. What did they do to you? On Installation 01, he encountered the Flood, but unfortunately, when Guilty Spark turned on him, Spark was the one that ended his life, and the Flood took over his body. Let's just... Oh, man, where do I begin? Okay, so I guess the chest is still intact. Uh, he scraped sort of putty on the top, but it looks like maybe some of the chest is caved in as well. This leg is A-OK, -okay, but it has added some ink sort of settled into the lines, made it really look very deep and weathered. Oh, this leg is not doing too well. This is his leg strap for sure, but it seems to have been cut and then reapplied on top of the putty. Like, it's definitely been severed and is just sort of hanging on. Like, literally, the flood has infected the Master Chief's skin and sort of bulged and swollen from the inside out, like mold growing inside his armor, until the pressure of it is so great that it pops the armor off, and it's sort of just left hanging there. Ah, oh, so gross. Look at that. He's even got it, like, dripping off the leg. This is so expertly done. So expertly done. Wow, look at this guy. This arm, same as this leg, just nice detailing. But this arm... Yeah, look at this thing. It's still got a ball joint, so some of the arm must be intact underneath. He must have layered putty around it, wrapping all the way. And then this arm. This arm is so well made. It looks like it could very easily hold a weapon. I won't put anything in this arm because I don't want to break it. But the way he's added the red fingernails, I, he must have used maybe a toothpick to just scratch all this in because it looks so detailed. Like, honestly, I'm so impressed, Bam Bam. I'm so impressed. This, uh, yeah, again, the arm armor. Oh, this is, oh, this is his chest. Yeah, look at that. That's the back of his chest there. So that's popped straight off. This one's still intact. This is like a bulge that sort of burst. Maybe this burst and some flood forms spewed out. This is a part of his chest that has just been sort of glued on. Shows how like sticky and disgusting this the, the flood sort of compound is. And really nice blood splatter goes into his chest. Damn, he kept the 117 intact, which I really respect. But the rest of this Master Chief, he is, he is lost to the flood. Look at that. That's so savage. That's so savage. And of course, he has some flood tentacles coming out of his face. Why not? 
not. Literally, it's just burst out. Like, it's so graphic. It's honestly so graphic. Mega Constructs, they're a toy company. They could never make something like this. They have to be a little PG. But this is, like, absolutely crazy. This is gonna be pride of uh, my collection. I need to make a flood diorama now, of course. It has to be the centerpiece. And we are not done with just that, folks. We've got something to display the Master Chief on. He needs his base plate. And I guess this was probably the Chief from the Chief versus Brute Warrior. The two-pack from Halo Infinite because we've got a Master... Oh no, a Flood Chief. Yeah, that's so cool. So he's taken the Master Chief base plate, sort of just applied some khaki desert paint to it. So detailed though, even with paint, he's got like little bits of blood dripping off. Then some more of these, I mean, you can find these little sort of sacks all around missions like Cortana from Halo 3. And we're gonna pop him on. That is just something else, isn't it, folks? Wow, look at this, look at this. So this is a pretty exceptional figure, Daniel. Congratulations. This is part three of our Flood videos. We've got Billy the Grunt and the Flood Infected Emil joining the Master Chief. I don't even know which one my favorite is. It's hard to say, but we've got even more Flood coming. We've got one more custom to unbox tomorrow and the Flood Infected Cyclops. So don't go anywhere. Stay with the domain for all your Flood glory. And you can win this Flood Infected Emil right now on our Mega Constructs domain. Facebook group. Link in the description. We are celebrating Flood Month. You can post any pictures, any videos of your Flood. It can be customs, dioramas, stop motions, anything you want. As long as it's Flood related, we want to see it. And I will pick my favorite to send this Flood infected a meal to. So you should definitely head over there and post your Flood for a chance to win this Flood infected a meal. Waha. This was another video with The Domain, guys. I am happy to announce very delighted to announce that I have been accepted into the Halo Infinite flighting this weekend. So as long as I can stream, expect massive streams all weekend as much as possible, just celebrating Halo Infinite, showing you guys what it's like. I'm really hoping to grow my Twitch in that time as well. As well as the Flood Infected Meal, I'll be giving away all three of these micro build ships, the Pelican, Truth and Reconciliation, and Spirit of Fire. And I'm giving all of those away to my new followers on Twitch. So make Make sure to check me out, twitch.tv slash motion domain. That's where I'll be streaming Halo Infinite flight testing. Let me know in the comments down below which is your favorite so far, the Flood Infected Grunt, Emil, or Master Chief. They are all awesome. And I'm setting one more challenge to Matty Crafts. I'm gonna be seeing you in person real soon, but I want to set you the challenge of recreating this Flood Infected Master Chief. I'll be there to comment and share the hype with you. I hope you're up for the challenge. Let me know in the comments down below if you are. Stay awesome, stay safe out there, everybody. And the Master Chief is signing off.